But we begin with breaking news. Deputies shoot a man who forced the neighborhood to take cover all night. The standoff started this afternoon in Royal Oak when a man fired several shots through the windows of his home. It ended a short time ago when police say he pointed a rifle at deputies and was shot. People living on the street surrounding Oliver Road near 13 Mile and Crooks were asked to avoid windows and hide in their basements. Jason Coulthorpe is live at the scene with brand new information. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Priya. Much, much calmer scene now, but police still hear the special investigation unit of Oakland County handling things at this point. And our sources are telling us a lot more about the individual behind this. The man was 34 years old. We're told he's ex-military and was suffering from PTSD when he assaulted his father in their home here earlier. His father called 911 and that's when he barricaded himself. And now the reason you can see right into that home is at some point tonight during negotiations, police sent in a drone and they sent in uh, the robot and several windows were smashed out in the course of that. And this ended when that suspect came to that door front, that open entryway there and made one last move toward police. The standoff began around 2 p.m. here on Oliver when a 34-year-old man was having a dispute with his father. Police said the man was heavily armed, wearing body armor, and intoxicated. He started shooting inside the house with some bullets going through the windows. That's when police sealed off the neighborhood and ordered neighbors to shelter in place. We just saw that car, and he was just standing there, and all of a sudden he got out. And then another car pulled up. He his long rifle. Yeah, took out oh, his then. long rifle on, and That's uh, when we knew it was serious. Oakland County SWAT took over the scene at 4 p.m. and negotiations began. There was a lady out there from the police department talking to uh, this Jason. She was saying, "Jason, Jason, like. come on out with your hands up. Everything will be okay." And she was just trying to talk him out, and she's been doing that for quite a while. And then while she was talking, we heard a gunshot, and we thought, "Well." Then everything was quiet. Yeah, everything was quiet. That shot came from police at 828. They say the suspect came to the front of the house and leveled his rifle at officers and a member of the SWAT team fired. The two guys from SWAT that were on the porch right outside the kitchen window, um, they started to relax and then they moved away. So I thought, okay, it's over with. Indeed, that was the end. A little background on Oakland County SWAT. It's made up of sheriff's deputies, but also of officers from several departments within Oakland County, including one from Royal Oak. But in the end, it was an Oakland County deputy who fired that shot. Really no other choice when that man pointed his rifle out at officers. And I'm told uh, he was rushed to the hospital. As of an hour ago, we're told that man is still alive. We'll keep tabs on his condition and what comes next in this case. His parents, by the way, are both fine as well. We're in Royal Oak tonight. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Oh, it's just terrifying moments for that neighborhood. Thank you, Jason.